hello there beautiful capricorns and welcome back to my channel if y'all are new my name is jazzy if y'all are not new y'all already know what is up this is going to be a reading for the sign of capricorn sun moon rising venus and jupiter for the next 24 hours but these readings have been being more like 24 hours to a week because of how detailed we are going here so stick around take a chance and let's get started here capricorn we are going to start with the overall energy. This could be someone or something that you're coming into or that's coming towards you. We'll look at your blockage, delay, or challenge in the situation. And then we'll also take a look at any advice or messages from your angels, ancestors, spirit guides. And then, of course, we will always take a look at the potential outcome, but we'll do that at the end, okay? So let's go ahead and see. So we've got new beginnings coming out in your current position. So definitely something new coming into your life to take a leap of faith take a chance on something here capricorn what is the challenge blockage or delay for my beautiful capricorn sun moon rising venus and jupiter babes my capri suns oh my goodness we have the tower accepting accepting that something is coming down accepting the ending accepting the downfall accepting the change the adjustment that's coming what is the advice here from spirit so you guys have got two major arcana already we have a discontent and boredom i feel like spirit's asking you to kind of disconnect go within relax a little bit here um you guys do a lot of work you guys definitely energetically um try to get a lot done i feel like spirit's asking you just to relax and go within here and it will help you process the energy that you're experiencing we do have deception and envy trapped in fear and passion ignited i feel like you may be a little bit concerned about what other people may think you may be concerned that people may be jealous or be like oh this oh that i feel like whatever new is coming into your life uh you know i feel like there's this this tug of war within yourself because it may be very different i feel like this is definitely north node energy here capricorn that's coming in for you i feel like spirit's asking you to definitely take a chance on this new door i feel like you've gained a lot of knowledge and wisdom in your life and you are definitely ready for whatever this opportunity is if you definitely feel like you're not ready for it you're ready for it you may be feeling a little hesitant or nervous because you don't know what it is you're, you can't see it yet but that's the point capricorn capri sense that's the point disruption coming into your life or the tower is to break the chains break free of the attachments it's like let it fall all right let this energy fall let this let this spiritually enlightened energy come to your life bust it wide open and tell them don't bring it back because that you don't want that and that's a fact okay you want to move forward you want something new you want a new beginning it's just spirit's way of challenging your mindset challenging your attachments challenging the choices that you make challenging who you are take a step back breathe relax it's okay caps it's okay we're gonna clarify today okay yeah let's do this one <laughs> we're gonna clarify today caps tell us about this new beginning energy here for capricorn sun moon rising venus and jupiter for the next 24 hours Tell us about this full energy, new beginning energy for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the next 24 hours or the next week. Oh my God, it's the lovers. It's the choice. It's the decision card, Capricorn. You guys know what that means. Not only is this new beginnings, this is a choice or decision that's coming into your life, free will. This is also a love situation. There's communication that's coming in to you. It's coming in very fast. You can expect it through a text message. You can expect it little mo message or a bottle like a glass. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely quick, fast messages that are coming in. I feel like someone's charging forward. Someone is definitely charging freaking forward. Capricorn. You don't want to with me. Yeah, someone someone's not letting you go. This is clear cut information they're charging 
And the Knight of Wands, you know, they're very in and out. I feel like this person as well, you know, the Knight of Swords is very fast. You know, sometimes they tend to not think about things, but this person's like, you know what? I'm following, I'm listening to my intuition. I'm listening to my intuition, but we'll see what else comes out here. I feel like it's very, it's very fast. It's very unexpected. All of a sudden you're like, what the f is going on? You may not even have time to think about it. Tell us about this new beginnings here for Capricorn, summarizing Venus and Jupiter. Somebody really, really does love someone. Someone loves someone a lot or they really like them. They're really into them. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. You've learned a lot. You're ready for this change in your life. Yeah. Two of wands. Capricorn. You are ready for this change in your life. I feel like there's also some contemplation that's going on here. Maybe you're comparing like apples to oranges for something, but you know exactly what you're ready for. You know that whatever it is that you're leaving behind, you're leaving it behind for a reason. You're leaving it behind because you're done with that phase. You've mastered it. It's time for you to move on. You've done it. You've done it already. You've done it already. Tell us a little bit more about this uh, new beginnings here i'm just feeling like you have a choice or decision to make here next 24 hours it's like you choosing to do something five of swords oh my god don't let your mind get in the way here capricorn ah <sighs> yeah eight of swords it's like your ego trying to block you trying to keep you from accepting or receiving something that you know is meant for you you may be a little bit nervous or scared because it's yeah you coming outside of your comfort zone this is something that is new in your life you have to do something new you have to drop the burdens drop the bullshit and you know you have to and i'm not saying you have to expose yourself you just have to drop the bullshit and drop the burdens you got to let it go and you know that because it's putting you in a new position a higher level you're at a higher level. I'm on a new level. That's this. I'm If I'm on a new level was a card. Or cards. Look at that. Look at that. Spirit says, don't put that back in the deck. Don't put that back in the deck because that's exactly where it goes. Everybody's getting this Ace of so uh, Eight of Swords here. Ace of Swords. Yeah, because it's like, what is your truth? I'm on a new level. Mmm. You gotta see things from a new perspective. Gotta let things come out. <laughs> you left it behind. Go get it. You left it behind. Yeah. You left something behind that you need to throw out. Go get it and let it go. Spirit's giving you this period of pause, stillness, or stagnancy. I feel like you're not, I feel like something's coming in very quickly, but I feel like whatever that pause is, it's asking you to throw it away. It definitely has hindered your emotions. Capricorn, your emotions. You have mastered something in your emotions. Don't, don't let it come back. You've completed a cycle. You know exactly what you want. You know how you feel. There's also someone else that knows exactly how they feel. And it, a lot of this has to do with accepting that because it's coming from a masculine energy. And I feel like for some of you, there may be a difficult time for you accepting this love from a masculine energy. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean it is a man. It could be a female. And you're having a hard time accepting this. You know, accepting love, knowing where you belong, knowing where you where you need to go allowing this tower to fall hmm. you've got the moon the fool and the page of swords you know exactly what you want i feel like your intuition is very clear as well capricorn your intuition is very clear it's just you have to follow it Tell us about this message of um, message of advice with the Four of Cups, please. Whoa, okay. Yeah, look at that. Ace of Swords, Knight of Swords. <laughs> Spirit's asking you to go within so you can receive the messages that are coming in to you here. You have a lot of messages that are that are being given to you that are being downloaded and received. I feel like there's also some clarity 
there's also a lot of it's like a lot of newness and I feel like it's information that you need in order to truly accept what's new what's next what's coming in yeah wheel of fortune with the emperor and the ten of swords whatever foundation it is you're, it, it's you're leaving a foundation behind it's been very difficult you've struggled with it but there are downloads and messages that you need that are coming through <laughs> capricorn that's why spirit's saying slow down a little bit rest relax meditate go within i got something for you i got something i need to tell you i feel like it's going to blow up in your face um like it's going to be like oh my god i get it i get it look at that ace of cups yeah something there there's new energy that's coming into your life there's new energy that's trying to be bestowed upon to you it's emotional it's it's clarity it's a feeling it's just clarity you can see it with your third eye you can hear it okay it's clarity that you've been waiting for the clarity that you've needed also the clarity that you desire Okay. <sighs> Capricorn. I feel like you may have also been also already receiving a lot of vivid dreams. Just rapid fire that are coming through and I feel like it's spirit's way of trying to get you to see truly Capricorn. And if you are, write those things down. Or process them as best as you can. Things are about to completely change in your life. And the spirit's trying to get you ready for it. Rain down on me. We're going to grab your moonology cards here. Capricorn. Oh my goodness. I can't. I can't even. Y'all are just, yeah, don't let the past hold you back. I feel like you don't even know what's coming in for you. Like, you really, really don't. It's so beautiful. A new start is coming. Oh my goodness. Capricorn. That's why I'm just like, I, I really don't know what else to say. Have faith in your dreams. Everything that you've wanted, everything that you've been looking for, step outside of your, you have North and South Node here. I'm telling you, Capricorn. You have no idea what's about to come on your fucking doorstep. You have no idea. No idea. It's giving, it's getting, get me feelings. What else do we need to see here for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter? Occupation. For a lot of you, this could have to do with your job. For a lot of you, you could be stepping into, um, oh my goodness, yeah, look, new pathway, got child, expectation, we're not keeping any of those, just the whole spill, because that was also my hand slip. For some of you, this is you doing, having some self-employment, mastery there, we have message coming through, number seven, and we have high honor oh my goodness yeah i feel like there is some sort of recognition that's coming in we have gift distant horizons and courthouse i feel like whatever you guys have been waiting to hear for or hear about that's coming in we have seven seven and seven five two and five is seven 25 breaking down to a seven the number seven and then thir 34 breaking down to a seven 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 you have a lucky ass fucking energy coming in whatever the fuck is coming in for you is it's about to blow your goddamn mind i'm telling you you're about to hit the goddamn fucking jackpot and you guys didn't get the jackpot card but you guys got 777 and it's happening in multiple ways you're about to get the best news the best freaking news you deserve love you were lovable cupid's arrow is is striking you it's hitting you finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right love life right now we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully and release your ex. 
Let's get one more here. Capricorn, you already know what that means. You already know what that means. Let go of the bullshit. Let go, let go, let go so you can have something new, 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 new. Because this, oh my goodness, something that you're passionate about, someone that you're passionate about, romantic feelings and honeymoon. Oh my God. Something's about to blow your fucking mind. I'm sorry. But it's about to blow your mind. And I feel like this could happen next 24 hours to the next week. <sighs> Capricorn, they're telling me to pull. Actually, let's use the tea leaf cards. We're separating into two piles because it's a big ass deck. Tea leaf cards for my beautiful Capri Suns next 24 hours to the next week we have younger woman dealings or relationship with a younger woman that could be you or somebody that you're involved with or somebody that you're uh, like dealing with or coming into some sort of connection with we have trouble accusations with the frying pan and we have a carriage a journey either physical or mental we have the grasshopper situations and balance that require careful handling The kite, we have a vacation. Somebody is about to surprise you with a vacation. And you're about to go on some sort of, yeah, new job or career. Yeah, I'm telling you, somebody's about to go on vacation. Somebody's about to get a new job. <sighs> January at the bottom of the deck. You should just be flying everywhere. We have archway, new opportunities, possibilities, and pathways opening up. Yeah, someone's going on a vacation, getting a new job. We have the wall, a misunderstanding, and we have mountain. You are on the road to a success. I feel like the misunderstanding and trouble and accusations could be coming from a younger woman here. This could be you or somebody that you involved with, Capricorn. I honestly don't feel like this is your energy, this younger woman. I feel like it has nothing to do with you. I feel like someone could be coming to you, a younger woman that you know. This could be something that somebody that you even work with here that has troubles or accusations, but it was some sort of misunderstanding. This could have been with you, but I feel like it doesn't really affect you here. I feel like what really affects you here is the carriage, the kite, the pin, um, the mountain and the archway. This I feel like is a very side, like a side energetic message that's coming in. Honestly, I kind of want to pull on it just because we're fucking nosy. Tell us about this younger woman, frying pan and wall energy. They're saying a friend. We have the, what is this? Four of cups three of pentacles and the six of pentacles this could definitely be in regards to work i feel like this has to do with a friend or some sort of involvement working together some sort of collaborative event um there is some sort of financial situation involved here some sort of money energy involved here i feel like some somebody feels emotionally uh put out or like you know, like their feelings or their shit doesn't matter. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like someone, six of cups, ace of pentacles, five of pentacles, some sort of a loss here, okay? But I feel like, again, this is, I'm hearing friend or somebody that you work with, but Capricorn, your shit looks beautiful. Seven, 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 four, 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 eleven, eleven. I'm getting all those numbers. I love you guys. I appreciate you and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.